ஹலோ டிகேஸ் வெல்கம் டு மைக்ரோசாஃப்ட் பவர் ஆட்டோமேட் டெஸ்க்டாப் டுட்டோரியல்ஸ் இன் திஸ் டுட்டோரியல் வி வில் லேர்ன் அபவுட் சப் ஃப்ளோஸ் இன் பவர் ஆட்டோமேட் டெஸ்க்டாப் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வில் சி வாட் ஆர் சப் ஃப்ளோஸ் சப் ஃப்ளோஸ் ஆர் குரூப் ஆஃப் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் செட் ஆஃப் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் வித் இன் ஏ டெஸ்க்டாப் ஃப்ளோ எவ்ரி ஃப்ளோ கண்டெயின்ஸ் தி மெயின் சப் ஃப்ளோ திஸ் சப் ஃப்ளோ தட் இஸ் ரன் வென் ஏ டெஸ்க்டாப் ஃப்ளோ ஸ்டார்ட்ஸ் another one sub flows this may be invoked through a run sub flow action all right what is the main purpose of the sub flows a sub flow can be called by the flow references from the main or sub flows the main purpose of sub flows are one the reusability and reducing flow development time consistency and increased maintainability of the flows for an example if you are having a sub flow as unloggers to programming a macros or but used many places third one flexibility to tailor a sub flow to a specific context for suppose if you are going to update the output queue or data source information in such a cases you are going to give the flexibility for the specific content all right before going to learn how to create a sub flow let me explain you about the project which i am going to explain you if you see on my screen i am having employee data with name and salary and after that if you see in my database i am having id name salary table i want to insert the data from the excel to database table that is employee data table how can i go ahead and do that i have already created a flow with the name of sub flows and if you see over here first of all as a first step i'm going to launch an excel and i'm going to read the data from the excel by using read from excel worksheet i want to know the number of records are available in the particular excel i'm going to use get first free column slash row from excel worksheet and once i have read the data i'm going to store this entire data into excel data and then i'm going to close the excel up to here this is all about the excel automation and if you see i am having five records over there let us assume what i have to do i have to insert this each and every record into my database all right so i'm going to use for each action in this for each action i'm going to connect open sql connection and after that i'm going to execute the sql statement and finally i'm going to close the sql connection while i'm going to execute the sql statement what i'm going to do i'm going to use insert into employee data name comma salary and i'm going to give the values over there all right and each and every row the data is going to be inserting into the particular database and the data table by using this flow which has been read from the particular excel all right before going to run this flow let me show you the output over here i'm going to execute select top 1000 id name salary from employee data table let me execute that if you see i'm having zero records over here in the particular table now in the excel i'm having four records these four records of data it is going to be inserting into the database by using this flow all right let's run the flow to see the output flow execution has been started and you can see over here it is going to be launching an excel and then it has read the data from the excel by using read from excel worksheet and if you see it has gone through for each loop and then it has been open the connection and executed the statement and then finally it has been closed successfully now the flow has been executed successfully now if you see over here let me execute the query once again the data has been inserted successfully with the name and the salary into the database table all right in the upcoming session we will learn how to create a sub flow by using power automate desktop thank you for watching microsoft power automate desktop tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day